Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In today's global technology competition, chips are undoubtedly the most critical chess piece, affecting the nerves of various countries and determining the direction of future technological development. Trump once again wielded that chip war stick, trying to gain the upper hand in this war without gunpowder, while China, with a firm attitude and clever response, steadily moved forward in this ever-changing game. At the same time, the Netherlands' visit to China and its promise brought a glimmer of hope for the export of advanced lithography machines. Is there a chance for lithography machines? The chip storm is rising again. Trump's chip war is not a whim, but has profound strategic considerations. After the tariff war suffered a waterloo, he attempted to strike China with precision through chips, a core product in the high-tech field. He took American business giants such as Musk and Huang Rinxuan to visit the Middle East, lifted restrictions on Saudi Arabia's access to high-end chips, and sold 18,000 advanced AI chips to Saudi Arabia, but at the same time imposed restrictions on Chinese chip products, trying to win over Middle Eastern countries and make them more dependent on the United States in high technology thereby isolating China. This approach is undoubtedly a typical hegemonic thinking, attempting to maintain the US's technological hegemony through unfair means. Even more excessive is that Trump has directly pointed the finger at Huawei's Ascend chip, restricted its use worldwide, and issued a highly threatening warning. Malaysia originally decided to build the first artificial intelligence system driven by Huawei chips, but quickly withdrew the decision after this warning, which shows the lethality of Trump's move. However, Trump and his team may have overlooked an important fact, that is, China has never been weak and bullied when facing external pressure. China has long made its attitude clear, whether the United States fights a tariff war, a technology war, or a military war, China will fight to the end. The Ministry of Commerce responded quickly, pointing out that the U.S. measures are suspected of constituting discriminatory, restrictive measures against Chinese companies. Faced with China's tough attitude, the U.S. Department of Commerce modified its website statement in less than a day, changing the use of Huawei Ascend chips anywhere in the world to violate U.S. export controls, and reminding the industry to pay attention to the risks of using China's advanced computing integrated circuits, including Huawei Ascend chips. This small change exposes the essence of the United States bullying the weak and fearing the strong. The United States wants to suppress China through the chip war, but does not want to completely give up negotiations with China on issues such as tariffs. This wavering attitude reflects its inner contradictions and uneasiness. In this chip game, China did not sit idly by, but took active countermeasures. On the one hand, China has increased its investment in chip research and development, encouraged domestic enterprises to innovate independently, and strive to break through technical bottlenecks. In recent years, China has achieved a series of important results in chip manufacturing and design. Although there is still a certain gap with the world's advanced level, the speed of progress is obvious to all. On the other hand, China actively cooperates with various countries through diplomatic means to gain more support and understanding. The Netherlands' visit to China is an important result of China's serious efforts. ASML, the world's top semiconductor equipment manufacturer, is located in the Netherlands. When Biden was chasing and blocking Chinese semiconductors, he put pressure on ASML, resulting in its most advanced lithography machine failing to be sold to China. However, during the Dutch foreign minister's visit to China, he said that China had asked the Netherlands to relax the export control of lithography machines, and the Netherlands also agreed to maintain communication with China on semiconductors. This news undoubtedly brought a glimmer of hope for the development of China's chip industry. Advanced lithography machines are key equipment for chip manufacturing, and their technical level directly determines the process and performance of chips. If the Netherlands can relax export controls on lithography machines, 
China will have the opportunity to obtain more advanced manufacturing equipment, thereby accelerating the development of the chip industry. This will not only help China improve its own scientific and technological strength, but will also have a profound impact on the global chip industry landscape. Of course, China cannot be too optimistic about the Netherlands' promise. After all, the United States has a huge influence in international affairs, and the Netherlands will also be constrained by various factors when making decisions. But in any case, this statement from the Netherlands provides China with a positive signal, indicating that not all countries are willing to follow the United States' footsteps and confront China on the issue of chips. In this chip storm, China needs to keep a clear head and firm confidence. China must realize that the development of the chip industry is a long-term process and cannot be achieved overnight. China must continue to increase investment in research and development, talents, etc., improve its independent innovation capabilities, and also actively cooperate with the international community to strive for more resources and support. At the same time, China must also be wary of the risks and challenges that the US chip war may bring. The United States will not easily give up its crackdown on China's chip industry and may take more measures to restrict China's development in the future. China must be prepared to deal with various difficulties, constantly improve its own industrial system and enhance its ability to resist risks. The chip storm is rising again. China is serious, the Netherlands has made a promise, and the lithography machine is in the air, the chip storm is changing, and the game between China and the United States continues. But no matter how many difficulties and obstacles there are ahead, China will unswervingly follow the path of independent innovation and a strong country in science and technology. China has reason to believe that in the near future, China will be able to make major breakthroughs in the field of chips, get rid of its dependence on foreign technology, and achieve self-reliance in science and technology. The dawn of lithography brought by the Netherlands' visit to China will also become an important milestone in the development of China's chip industry, inspiring China to keep moving forward and usher in a better future.